Ham Radio Crusader. It's time to kick it with some chew bubble gum. And I'm all out of gum. Hello everyone, this is Freddie Mac and it's time for another Ham Radio How-To. Okay, so out of the box, the Anytone AT779UV doesn't appear to go into GMS frequencies, uh, GMRS frequencies. Let's try 462500. And it goes back to a lower frequency. So let's try 444. 100 and it works. Interesting. Let's turn that power down. Function power. So, I've been told of a mod that worked in the reverse order for them, but it basically it gets you into a menu to set your frequency range for the radio. So we're going to try it out. Power the radio off. Hold down the VM button and power it back on. And there's a range of frequencies. That looks to be amateur only, but if I hit the up arrow, I get a wider range. Interesting. Europe? No. We're going to stick with this one, 136 to 174. Let's see what the others are. Europe, GMRS, Australian, and it stops there. I'm betting GMRS is GMRS only. Europe, that band we are going to choose. And then amateur only. And then another range. It seems to be different region maybe I'm not sure nonetheless we are going to pick this one now I've been told you turn the radio off and once you turn it back on you're going to lose everything in memory which I didn't have but maybe one or two anyway so it's not a big deal turn it off turn it back on and we'll go to yeah, I didn't. I guess I lost everything in memory. Which, hey, it's no big deal. Let's go back to VFO. Let's try that GMRS frequency again. 462500. And we're transmitting on GMRS. Look at that business. But this little radio is got some features. And wowzers. This is going to be all right. So there you go, folks. That's how you'd make your Anytone AT779UV wider banded than it came out of the box. Have a great day, 7-3s, and ham on, y'all.